Boom, the always in the spot, I know what's going on. Free gay flock, free Dougie, free the guys, man. All be the guys. I'm the futures. Tune in. All right, we live with it right now, you know what I'm saying? This interview long overdue. Niggas been trying to tap in for like a whole five or six months. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Let, let niggas know who we got on Future TV right now. Nazi VK, DOA Inspired. That's what's up, bro. You know what I'm saying? I feel like the Bronx hip hop scene right now might be the littest as far as like a whole bunch of rappers nah, yeah, don't kill going everybody. crazy right now. Everybody going crazy. Everybody on my side going dumb. Yeah. Everybody how you how you feel about like your success in this shit though? Because um, you got m millions of views on yeah, certain songs. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, shit feel crazy, cause like I said, um, but when I pass interview, I never thought I'd be a rapper. For me. Like, yeah. I wasn't. I wanted to be known as like one of those trappers or somebody that feel me like at the back or some other shit. I didn't think I was gonna rap, it just happened. Yeah. I was just like, fuck it, charge it out. What? Feel me about shit you ain't know. Mad controversy, do all that shit, and then shit went crazy. Yeah. And, for me, from there it was all. So how long you been doing this shit though? You search a billion in a box right now. That shit might be at ten months. So I ain't been rapping for ten months. Ten months, so. Yeah, what made? I mean, what made you want to? You know, what I'm saying, start rapping though, cause I don't know. One day I was just in the stoop. I was with um Suddy and J O Benz. Okay. And from we was just in there, and I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. Let me just try this. Niggas just getting high and shit. Everybody falling asleep. Just went in there, put on the bunny in the box in the mental. Well, um, my son Z took me to the studio that day. And for me, everybody was just like on some lousy shit that day. So I just went in there and everybody woke up after and I played it. Yeah. I'm like, nah, that's it. So I had a video to it. Once I put that shit at 100K in a week, my first song, I was setting my eyes up. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> so, yeah, fucked up. Niggas ain't even began to 100K in a month. For first week, first drop, niggas is bugging. Yeah, bro. That's all. I mean, that, that buddy in the box stuff, that was like, that was the first song that you ever um, recorded, though, yeah. ever. Yeah, and you got like, a million. I, I had a song before that, but like it wasn't like I was gonna post anything because I ain't gonna have to get concert. But it was me and I'm. Um, I'm pretty sure you ever heard of um C J Goon. Yeah, I heard of C J yeah, Goon. Me and him yeah. on the same song. Like for me, I don't even know about that. Yeah, <laughs> that shit was uh, for me. That's the only song I made before that. Yeah, for me. After that, it was Bunny in the Box. Oh, okay. All right, that's a bet. So, you know what I'm saying? this I, I interviewed a lot of Bronx um, artists on my shit. I didn't interview, like, all the, like, almost all the lit rappers. You feel me? Yeah. And um, this is your first time on my platform. So, mm -hmm. let people know exactly where you from, though. I'm from the Bronx. Feel me? 158 and 3rd Ave. That's where I'm from. Okay. And then, feel me? What I jack and what I chill with, I still jack my trade shit, but on my dolly shit, though. Like, I don't really fuck with niggas. I ain't got to explain. You know, you know. Yeah. But, Feel me? I'll go ahead and chill on the side, 187th, right there, 4646 and shit like that. That's yeah. the guys. Those are my brothers, feel me? Yeah. They just know what's up. Like, so, how, how, how far is the same side cause, uh, from where from, you was? From where I'm from? Yeah. Probably like, I'll say driving, like a 13 minute drive, 14 minute, and then okay. walking is a walk. I ain't going to lie. Yeah. That shit a walk. You know what I mean? So people want to know, like, how how did you, you know what I'm saying, link with the sales side because, you know, that's like 13, 14 yeah. minutes away from your, your spot and shit, so. But long story short, for me, little situation happened or whatever. For me, I already knew K Flock, I already knew Dougie, I already knew um, a couple of niggas. Like, I seen Suddy, but I ain't no Suddy around this time. It's when they used to come to call and shit. Like, yeah. I was linked up, feel me? I was jacking OGs at the time, like everybody else, feel me? I wasn't just South side. I was jacking OGs in third That's half. like, that's Cortland. It was Detroit, yeah. Okay, right. So, boom. Detroit down a block from Cortland. That's where I'm really from, which is like two, one, two blocks down. But everybody was jacking OGs or third eye, but it's the same shit. Okay. I think it's just shit just, you know what I mean? So, you wasn't was really in Cortland, but you was like two yeah, blocks away. Yeah, yeah. Right. the same beef and shit. Like, EK, all them niggas was my man. It's all that shit. Fuck them niggas, so, but for me, yeah. you know, shit like that. So, controversy, all that extra shit happened. And then, for me, KK seen what's up with um, my situation or whatever. And for me, like, niggas is not going to jack a nigga. They don't do what they do. But regardless, by that time, I already did what I did, for me. So, it's like, yeah. he looking at it like, for me, he ain't saying nothing crazy, but he like, well, kind of my side. Like, kind of my side for the day. For me, boom, went over there, and I met Seti. 
I, I went to Sada or whatever, chilled a couple niggas or whatever. Then after that, I'm at SETI. And after me and SETI, we locked in like this, like the first day, no kizzy. I, I don't know what it was. Like, I felt like, I don't know. I've knew this nigga for years, if you got what I'm trying to say. First day, like when you do an interview with him, he's going to tell you the same shit. Yeah. That shit was just weird. I'm like, I, since that day, we've been riding for each other. So it's like, for me, that's my brother. Most definitely, bro. Yes, um, so, you know what I'm saying? Growing up where you was from, you know what I'm saying? The Bronx and shit, man. What what was it like, though? Because I feel like mm -hmm. I've been covering the drill scene for a minute, like two or three years. But it's like my first year really like hearing mm -hmm. about the Bronx. Like, it's, it's uh, crazy yeah, as fuck, yeah, bro. Yeah, so, like, what was it like for you growing up out there? Um, in the Bronx, it was hectic. I ain't gonna lie. Like, for me, you could, you could like, probably wake up every day with, like, Santonia so far. Y'all want to be this. But you might not even be that. Just cause of the environment. Yeah. I should have changed you. I swear to God it would. That environment is like the air. Shit is, yeah. shit is not good. <laughs> like, I should have changed you, bro. I'm gonna be honest. Like I'm not gonna sit here and sugarcoat nothing or act weird for me or try to do what these other niggas is doing. I'm be honest. I'm glad I was a good kid, bro. Yeah. Right my mother, I was a bull player. I was supposed to go yeah, D1. Shit, I was man. supposed to do all of that, bro. I was a good kid, nigga. But feel me? Game like. You being a kid and you wanting money is gonna bring you to the streets. And then once you're in the streets and you get money, you're gonna get haters. Feel me? When you get haters, it's niggas that will try to feel me? And then you gotta tweet. And that's how I just started. After Most that, I never looked back. Most definitely. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, never looked back after that. So what age was it when you think you, you really hopped really, off the porch? When you just I really like hopped off the porch and I'm like, I was still playing basketball too. I was going to school yeah. with that shit. Bad. I was going to practice. Like, family niggas ain't even know, but I'll say probably like 15, turning 16. Okay, 15. So you about like a yeah. ninth to 10th grade type yeah. shit. Most of these niggas been wild since like 13. I'm going to be honest, nigga. Like, yeah. you feel me? That, that shit don't mean nothing. Most definitely, bro. <laughs> that shit don't mean nothing. So what made you yeah. say, like, fuck the basketball shit? Because I played basketball too, but like, what made you be like, yo, fuck this shit? I'm about to just, I was, you know saying, I was going to shit. school in the Bronx, one of the best basketball schools in the Bronx, Eagle Academy, and we was winning chips every year and shit, so when was my first year there, I was a freshman. I left that school, went to a, a fucking prep school in Pennsylvania, I got recruited by a school, Yeah. feel me? I was freshman playing JV varsity, feel me? Everybody was jacking me. The only freshman on the team because I had to reclass and shit, but then, like, literally, like, in the first, probably, like, Two months is three months of school. I got into a fight with some nigga. Niggas be weird over for me. Yeah. And after that, I got kicked out. And once I realized that, for me. What, what age was that? Uh, Like 15. Okay, 15. Yeah, at 15. the school? At the high school? Okay. At the high school in Pennsylvania. Okay. Until I got kicked out of there, I'm like, I just left the Bronx. Damn near, it was this close to making it. I was probably going D1, playing in that school. I really had interest in all that. I got, damn, I wish I had a Bronx. I'll probably send you a picture you got in the video. I got envelopes with my oh, name yeah. when I'm. Seeing whole shit like like a swear, bro. But it's like fuck it though. Feel me? I don't know. Look how it turned out now. Now I'm a rapper. Most definitely, bro. I, mean, I feel like I could have went far with that shit, but once I got kicked out of school, I'm like, yeah, it's quiet. Yeah. I'm not about to do all that extra shit again. So it's, it's speaking of like you know what I'm saying the basketball shit, bro. I know that you also you be mentioning like Diddy a lot in your yeah. songs and stuff. Uh -huh. And he was a basketball player, mm -hmm. so I mean. Y'all y'all had a relationship, like y'all that was like yeah, homie. Yeah, yeah. Like Diddy, like one thing about Diddy, like bro handles is different. Like anybody who know about Diddy, the first thing you're gonna talk about is him playing basketball and nobody could go on him. I ain't gonna lie. Like, I don't know what the fuck my son had the yo yo. His shit was different. Yeah. My son really pff, different with the rap. But that was like for me, that's my brother, like my brother, like my brother, I ain't gonna lie. He was always good vibes, happy nigga, never had nothing to do with the streets. So when niggas mentioned his name, it was like, yo, bro, that niggas is weird. And now since I was ten, I was at his basketball game chain for him. Yeah. <laughs> but so I he, swear to God. So he I wasn't really, really he wasn't up, involved in no street shit. He was just like he a basketball player. He was not involved player. in no street shit. He was this, this, this right here, Mary, a Mary Bandit, yeah. straight money and bull. Swear to God. Most That's it. My son didn't worry about none of that extra shit. Niggas is just weird. I don't know. So I mean, what I, when when you lost him? How did like how did you take that I feel situation? Like, remember, I told you like I already I was already on sign, but I feel like after that I teed up like yeah. Teed how up. old was you around that time? Who me? Yeah, I was probably I say six. Yeah, it was two, two days already passed. It was two years ago. I was sixteen. Okay, so you were sixteen type shit. 
So, you know what I'm saying? You said the the first song that you dropped was uh, the Bunny in the Box. Yeah. Was that before the, the, the P. Rico Hang With Me uh, remix shit, too? Uh, yeah. Or you did that yeah. was before, okay. I did, I did P. Rico Hang With Me remix. Like, I was like my fourth song. Yeah, so I seen last night you was like, yo, uh, it got deleted off of yeah. YouTube. That nigga reported it. He reported it, shit? Like, he reported it himself. It says... Like when you check, you know how the channels that tells you when they, people get yeah. P Rico does not approve. I, I took this shit down, so you know who I am. And if you're watching this, you a weirdo, nigga. But the That's thing, why they had it's so crazy because a hell of I didn't see like four or five. Hating, bro. I didn't see like four or five Chicago niggas rap over that beat. So and like, nothing huh? happens. So why me? Like out of all niggas, I'm a Bronx nigga. The Bronx. I ain't gonna lie. You see, it was going crazy on TikTok. Um, Bronx rappers. Revive, hang with me, I, I. Yeah. that shit was going right. When I say viral, what I was bugging. I said smoking <laughs> on that rah rah pack. Like, come on, bro, we let you go. Yeah. Tune in, it's still out there, you heard? Yeah, just <laughs> tune in. That shit still out there. Y'all niggas is bugging. He ate it up. Yeah, and, and another thing I seen that you, you know, what I'm saying you, you come up with your own ad lib. Like what? Like how? I ain't never heard nobody say it before you. Nah, Where that shit right. come from? I ain't gonna lie, I was just in the studio. Me and Sadie was doing a song. I think it was called Two Guns Up. The real fans, the one, like, for me, that song got to do the two. But the real fans, y'all know what's the word, like, for me. If y'all was dancing Two Guns Up, I was mainly singing, like, well, like, how that whole song. But even Bunny in the Box, I said that shit. I'm just saying, the way how it came up was just like, I said it in Bunny in the Box, like, a couple times, for me. Mm -hmm. I'm like, all right. Then I said it with the Two Guns Up song. Like, if you know that and listen to that song, you probably still hear it on Apple Music. I'm gonna say it, like, a, a bunch of times. Cause I, that's when I knew like this is it right here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying like what? Like ah. Then we outside, we walking. I'm saying funny shit like well that like that shit just get funny after a while. And after that I'm like, nah, this is my shit. I just start <laughs> bugging with that shit, posting like well like have putting that shit in my bio, fucking all types of shit. You name it. That was my caption for my picture. All that. But you know I, I like ran through Graham, so you can't really see. But you know you know I make that shit up. Yeah. Don't let nobody tell you otherwise. That shit. I don't want to hear nobody else saying they made that shit. That shit is cap. Yeah, so cap. I mean, you just mentioned that you ran through grams and shit, but what you think it is and why you keep losing your IG? Because I, I feel like you're supposed to be at yeah. over 100K right now. You For sure. So Guaranteed over 100 What you think it is? Because you do be wilding, though. I lose my account every time I get around 50K followers. I don't know why. It's about that number. I'm at 48. Lost my shit. Yeah. The last one, 49. Lost my shit. Like, bro, I can't hit the 5 and the 0. Niggas is bugging, niggas don't want to see me win. That's what it is, bro. But it's like, for me, I just feel like, because I ain't gonna lie, I do be wilding, but another thing, too, there's times where, because in order for you to get your account taken down, you gotta have at least like 15 people, 15 posts that's not valid, for me, or 20 or some shit like that. There's some posts that niggas be reporting my shit for that don't make sense. Like, I swear, yeah. I'll be doing nothing. There'll be like negativity, or I'll post some funny shit of somebody else posted. Yeah. They, like, bro, that means I get seeing and spamming this button all day. Yeah. Niggas want to see me lose. But niggas is going to be tight because guess what I'm going to do? Go make another account. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. Like, that's that's one thing about you, bro. You don't change. You still be posting shit. And I still be violating. First post back. <laughs> Fuck it. Yeah. Niggas not going to like, feel me? Y'all going to hate me. Whether y'all like it or not. I just, like, I would like to get the blue check, though. Just because. All this bullshit I've already been through. They should just give it to me at this point. Yeah, so you feel like niggas trying to blackball you type shit. Yeah, because I don't got time, because I don't know what the fuck going on. Yeah. That shit don't make no sense. So, what? I mean, what's your recording process be like when you be coming up with your music, though, man? Uh, Cause I just freestyle, honestly. I probably roll a blunt, get high, feel me? Yeah. And just going and freestyle. That's how I started. Before, I was just smoking, going in the booth, and just going with the flow. And then, feel me? Second, third, that's what I'm saying. Like, anytime a nigga meet me, like another rapper or another artist, they be like, like, this nigga dead don't write. I don't write, bro. Yeah, you ain't never write a song. Yeah, bro, I do not write. I'm trying yeah. to tell you. Even when I sing, I got singing songs about to come out. I don't write. I don't know why. I just, that's just not me. It's yeah. not for me. I feel like I, if I start writing, I'll probably make other songs, better songs and shit like that. But I'm going to start getting tapped into that. Mm -hmm. I just feel like, I just rap my life for I rap with, for me. Like, you get what I'm trying to say? Like, it's just easy. I don't know, bro. I just get yeah. I just go in there and say some shit. She's on fire. What's and there be mad controversy going on, you feel me? Yeah. Like, niggas be on that, feel me? So it's like, all right, I'm going to clap back at you now. Now you done, feel me? Yeah. 